We should only use a least squares regression line to predict future y values if certain requirements are met. We start by determining if correlation exists, the linear association. Because recall from a previous video that even if the correlation coefficient suggests strength, the association between x and y may be nonlinear, thus no correlation. Here's data that is linear for the number of flyers hung per hour. Regardless of the r value, we confirm linearity by observing the scatter plot. Residual plots can provide the same information. Residual plots maintain the x-axis, but instead of pairing each observed x with its observed y, the x values are paired with the residual of the observed y. Let's focus on the person who worked six and a half hours and hung 305 flyers. They had a residual of negative 19.5. 19.5 flyers below the predicted value found on the least squares regression line. Look where that point translates to on the residual plot. When x is 6.5, the y coordinate is negative 19.5. Thus, the x is paired with the residual of y. Notice the y-axis on the scatter plot. It is flyers hung. Hence, the ordered pair is 6.5 and 305, or 6.5 hours with 305 flyers hung. Now notice the y-axis on the residual plot. It's the observed y minus the predicted y. These are the residuals of the points displayed in the scatter plot. Thus, the ordered pair 6.5, negative 19.5 is the same 6.5 hours worked, hooked up with the residual of negative 19.5. From the scatter plot, we see that the data is pretty linear. From the residual plot, we see the same association. It's almost as though the line in the scatter plot was tipped until it became horizontal and bring the points with it to create the residual plot. Now that's not quite true because the distance from the observed y to the predicted y is not on a segment perpendicular to the line, but who cares? See it like the line tipped and it's just sitting on its side. And then make this observation on the residual plot. That horizontal line that's at y equals zero, that's the x-axis. Any residual on that line is a residual of zero, implying that on the scatter plot it sits right smack dab on the prediction line because the observed y had to equal the predicted y in order for the residual to be zero.